at the end runs just the creative department. In creative industries, it's very important that you have at the center of the enterprise creativity. The lead, cre the, uh, leading the, the creativity from the heart of that enterprise and have all the forces help and supply the progress. And that is not the case in most creative businesses because those creative leaders, they step back and they have no experience how to articulate the future of the company, how to influence the, the future of the company rather, uh, regarding the direction, like Jean-Marie Dru, for instance, did it for his agency by articulating disruption as the way to go, which actually uh, initiates other expertises that are built in the agency to support disruption. You cannot just claim it. But what this does is uh, um, you articulate in the world of idea making what kind of ideas you make. Bartle Bogle Hegarty has uh, articulated that uh, in, in, in form of uh, they want to be the, 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 the fame factory. Now this is a different angle to ideas, how you create fame with your ideas. So that brings in expertises uh, that uh, stars use or managers of stars use in order to make uh, a, a, a person famous and, and other expertises of marketing and so on. So to articulate the way to go, get the whole support from the organization and make it a success, that is point number one. So we, we think you need leadership for the creative leadership for the enterprise. Secondly, uh, what is a problem in, in our industry that more and more companies believe in tests yeah? and leadership is very important from the creative side of, of, of an agency, for instance, in order to make it a sane process. I'm not against tests for information, but usually uh, the work is tested and is brought down to the lowest common denominator. And the result is that uh, we can speak about the TiVo generation now in the United States. Uh, it was the first time I heard it on CNBC, the TiVo generation. I mean, we know since, since uh, some years that there are digital video recorders and 70% of the reason why people use them is to get rid of advertising. So in other words, the, the major junk of the work we are doing is creating a sort of a graveyard, is creating a sort of a pollution uh, environment that the people don't want to have. So creative leadership regarding motivating the client and uh, better work is absolutely necessary. Because on the other end, from the TiVo uh, 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 effect, there's a viral uh, marketing effect, meanwhile. And, and people, if they like commercials, they send it from friend to friend on the computer. And we were one of the first uh, coming up with a commercial that was sent uh, about over 20 million times. It was uh, uh, this fisherman who did some kickboxing with a bear yeah, for, for this uh, uh, red salmon. Yeah? So, so it, you cannot say advertising is all that bad, but advertising needs a push. And beyond advertising, communication needs a push to be lifted to make it fit again uh, uh, and a success with the people out there. Then you have uh, in this situation, so uh, leading the clients, that is a science in itself, and it takes some time and building trust with a client that really uh, uh, makes, makes it possible to come up with better work, if there's trust. But you know, if you ask CEOs of, of, of marketer companies, have you, how often have you seen the, the executive creative director of your agency? Maybe the answer is in most cases, I even don't know who that is. Yeah? 
and there must be, uh, uh, like Stephen Jobs, Jean-Marie Dru or so, there must be the, the uh, connection. The, the next thing is leading uh, the people. It is very difficult. When, 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 when you are a creative genius, you are appointed to uh, this job to tell other people it's not good enough. How to be trust, how, how to be a, a, a mentor, a supporter, how to hire, how to fire. All these sort of things, uh, these, these soft things in this business uh, suddenly uh, uh, are a bit of a barrier. Um, the next thing is leading yourself is an area. Uh, this is a very demanding business. Uh, so uh, what do we do? Yeah? We, we sort of give it everything and forget about our families, forget about new input in culture and so on, and dry, dry up and, and, and are fed up and leave the business also. Yeah? I left the business lucky, yeah? but uh, <laughs> in, in, in a way. Uh, that's, that's it. And leading the industry, the creative leaders, they have to go out and shape the industry and see the deficiencies and help the industry grow. There are some markets that do it very well, you know, like in Brazil. When, when I spoke recently with, with a, uh, a world champion soccer player, Leonardo, uh, in, in, in Zurich at the FIFA, uh, uh, I asked him, do you know Washington Oliveto? Yeah, he comes from Brazil. Do you know Washington Oliveto? He said, Washington Oliveto? That's a god. Yeah? Now, when I spoke later with Washington Oliveto, yeah, uh, uh, that I had a conversation uh, with Leonardo, he said, Leonardo, that's a god. Yeah? <laughs> but you see, uh, where advertising stands is very respected in Brazil, and it's a glamour job, and it's where people want to work. And that is not the case in a lot of communities that advertising uh, has this high uh, stature. And this is fatal because the best people then, uh, the most creative people, they don't want to work in advertising. They go to, to other places. So to talk a little bit about the, what can be done and that is what we have been focusing on with our curriculum from, from the output side. You can read that later under the section six pillars. How to educate this. Uh, we have um, probably a bit of a unique faculty uh, uh, organized. I mean, a faculty with an idea. So we know that creative people, they don't want to listen to academia in this case. This is a dry uh, material, and we know that we have to make it interesting uh, and engage the creative people to really jump on it. But we still we want to have a very effective MBA. We still need to have uh, 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 the most interesting and the most competent academia. So what we have is we have uh, Pierre Kass, uh, who um, uh, is really focused on leadership. He's with IMD in Lausanne, with, with Kellogg uh, um, School of Management in, in Chicago, and with some other faculties uh, busy. And he is building to the various topics that I sort of teased uh, uh, just before, um, leadership experts, yeah? So Charlotte Swiss and, and so on, that come in and, and cover these various subjects. So, but, for instance, when you want to uh, uh, get into the subject uh, to create a turnaround in a, in a creative agent, in, in an agency, maybe to shape it creative. I mean, at Leo Burnett, we were a strong but more solid agency but we decided we want to become, we want to stay strong and solid, but want to be creative also. So you need to find a way to create this turnaround. Can be heavier than that, yeah? but if you want to have a turn. You have the, the, the academic part on this, but <coughs> through our creative faculty, which is, uh, you, you can see that later on, which is, uh, uh, 
as uh, uh, well numbered, let's say, as the academic faculty, I will have, uh, I can call up um, uh, Keith Reinhardt to come at the same day, and we've, we've, we are organized that way, that, that we uh, create this synergy, come the same day and talk about how he saved Bernbach. So suddenly, this theme comes to life. And when you, when you see whom we have in the creative faculty, there are six, seven, or eight uh, former Kant residents engaged, and uh, some, some other brilliant people, gurus from around the world. Now, interesting, when we came up with this idea, and we began to talk on an international basis, it was a big surprise that everyone said, Jesus Christ, yeah? I mean, there is actually no MBA education for a creative person. And the MBA actually is seen for regular business. Yeah? It's a business MBA and does not necessarily recognize the fact yeah, that a creative uh, enterprise ticks much differently yeah, than uh, a screw factory or a car factory or so. Yeah? But there are more and more uh, uh, marketers that recently have appointed a chief creative officer. Yeah? Because at the end, any business only works if it has some creative power. Yeah? Might it be a business idea, might it be a distribution idea, or whatever you have. Yeah? So, um, then we, we, we are organized that we have uh, 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 taken these 80 days. It's an 80-day course divided into um, uh, uh, six double weeks. Four will take place here in Berlin to, to four different uh, uh, headlines. One will take uh, place in Chicago, in Evanston, with uh, the uh, Kellogg School of Management and with uh, Metal School of Journalism. Now, that's an interesting point also. Metal School of Journalism was established by uh, um, 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 an editor woman that uh, um, got the job to run the company. And she had the deficiencies I was talking about. So she initiated the Metal School of Journalism and they affiliated uh, at the time with the, with the Kellogg School of Management. Yeah? So it's the same motivation. And as you will see, we don't want to cover just um, advertising, we want to cover media, we want to cover entertainment, and want to cover marketers, marketing slash marketers. Um, now the, 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 the six double week uh, uh, will take in uh, place in Japan, where um, Denso is uh, opening the doors and will host uh, the class uh, for a double week, and we will focus. We'll be focused on innovation. We are considering other places for for travel for future classes, like uh, South Korea, highly innovative uh, 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 place like uh, Sao Paulo. We are now getting the interest of uh, the so-called art directors clubs. Uh, uh, the, the last press conference, the one before we had on this topic, was in Sao Paulo, and um, the Creative Club at Sao Paulo hosted it, and they want to become highly involved, also the marketing club from Sao Paulo. Uh, we had a conversation with Michael Hockney in uh, uh, London. Uh, he's uh, the president of the Dean AD, and he said, it's amazing, we are spending five million pounds on education every year and have eight to ten people uh, <coughs> uh, behind various programs and very good programs, but this is the missing link. So we might be able to also collaborate with uh, the Dean AD on this program. They have already offered, they have a fantastic program in the summer over three days uh, where they it's, it's called education for the educators, where they bring in the, the, the communication professors from universities, or specific professors that teach advertising, marketing too, and uh, educate them over three days uh, in order to um, um, 
bring to them year by year what is changing and what, what are uh, the requirements and what's the pressure the, the industry has. And they're doing it very successfully. Yeah? And we know uh, the UK has a very strong advertising community. And uh, to, to close the TIVO thought is when TIVO tried to launch itself in the UK, it was not very successful. Yeah? And I think it has not really well established itself because people like commercials yeah. uh, in general. So. But in a way, it was a, the license to go ahead. And I must say, uh, I had the background of having been uh, a, a creative director of, of an agency before, of a couple of agencies before, uh, but also uh, have built with a partner an agency at the time where the creative director that is appointed to run the creative side suddenly is involved in all the, the possible business fields. Um, so I had experience a bit. But I must say, if I would have known of what, we, what I have here in my hand, I would have shortened the time and I would have been faster uh, doing a better job. Uh, maybe just uh, uh, make, give you a brief read of the creative part of the faculty, because uh, the academic, I, I really don't know all the people. But it starts with Louis Blackwell. Yeah? He is uh, uh, the creative director of Getty Images. Rick Boyko, uh, managing a VCU ad center, and a former chief creative officer of uh, Ogilvy & Mather in North America. Craig Davis, the Chief Creative Officer of J. Walter Thompson, who recently has articulated a new direction under the uh, buzzword time. Nina de Sesa, Chairman from uh, um, uh, uh, McKen, uh, Ericsson. David Droga, uh, this year's President in Cannes, uh, running Droga <coughs> 5 now, uh, Miguel Angel Forones, my successor at Leo Burnett, Fabio Fernandez, uh, the Chief Creative Officer of Efnasca Sachi Sachi, John Haggerty, uh, uh, you know, uh, Bart Bogle Haggerty, uh, John Hunt, the Worldwide Creative Director of TBWA, Joachim Jonasson, the International Creative Director of Scholz and Friends and uh, inventor of the diesel campaign and H&M, Akira Kagami, Executive Creative Director from Dentsu uh, in Japan. John Kamen, he's uh, the Chairman uh, and CEO of Ad Radical Media, a uh, very interesting company in New York, uh, covering all sorts of communication production. <coughs> then Andre Midani, he was the former uh, um, uh, CEO of Warner International <coughs> Music. Uh, he invented uh, or, or produced first the, the, the bossa nova. Uh, so he's 70 years old now, a fabulous person. Philip Nielsen is the chief creative officer of Forsman and Bodenfors in uh, uh, Sweden. Washington Oliveto, mentioned before, uh, W. Brazil. Piyush Pandai was also chairman of the jury. He is uh, the chairman and national creative director of Ogilvy Mather. In India, Keith Reinhardt, uh, you know, uh, Stefan Sagmeister is a design guru in New York, Tony Segarra uh, of SCPF uh, in Barcelona, one of the, the gurus in Spain, Marcelo Serpa, <coughs> was also chairman in Cannes uh, of the juries, Elizabeth Schweger, she is uh, uh, in Germany a very provocative uh, theater uh, director yeah, who's, uh, of, of the Frankfurt Theatre, also Tom Stromberg, same thing. Uh, then uh, Jean Daniel Tirkomirov has, uh, like John Kamen, his uh, company is called Mixer, and he's producing now uh, uh, advertising uh, um, uh, uh, TV shows. Uh, documentaries and feature film. So they see advertising now from a fresh new perspective with all those expertises coming. Uh, and Mark Tatzel, um, uh, the future Chief Creative Officer, I think, uh, of, of Leo Burnett. 
And there are some others, uh, for instance, uh, Marian Salzman. She is uh, the chief marketing officer of J. Walter Thompson, Thompson, but she's a futurist. She actually predicted the rise of Al-Qaeda. Uh, she is in, 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 in shows, uh, 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 a bit like Face Popcorn, but a serious one. <laughs> she also articulated metrosexualism, yeah, as a metrosexuality also, yeah, that uh, comes out of her feather. Yeah. So uh, there, there, there are over the years, I mean, she's a very competent person. So to have such a person, yeah, when you think about the future yeah, of, of the company, would be great. So, uh, I mean, we have a, a press kit yeah, and, and would be happy to cover your questions now, so maybe we can unleash some more uh, nice corners of that school. Is this project the first one in the world? Is, is the world new thing? Yeah, I mean, it's an initiative nothing coming, coming out of us, and it mm -hmm. makes sense. <coughs> and and right. as I said, there is no MBA program in, the in the world for creative, for, for creative mm -hmm. leaders. Okay. Somebody says for creative leadership, but they are meaning a different thing. Yeah, that mm -hmm. a leader has to be creative. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, uh, but there is nothing that would fit our mm -hmm. industry. Yeah. There is uh, a fantastic program I heard of, and I have to uh, f find out about it. That the BBC runs, but it's an internal program. It's for their own people, and it is brilliant. And you all know the high standards that uh, BBC wants to work against. Mm -hmm. so, but around the world, everyone said, hey, this mm -hmm. makes sense, I want to be a part of it. The, the quality standard is very high, the names are very good level, so I think the price will be also very mm -hmm. high. Or, um, no, it's 45... <laughs> you can say something. Yeah, it's 45,000 uh, mm -hmm. uh, dollars, and we heard mm -hmm. actually it's too cheap. Cheap. But we can we can work. No, no. Yeah, it yeah. comes from markets like like yeah. the US or so. But okay. you know, yeah. it's always the interesting for years, thing. Yeah. For, for, an MBA for, is not an for, MBA, yeah. and a product is not a product. <coughs> and what we've put together suddenly shapes up as an idea with value. Yeah. And uh, so some people think it's too cheap. Huh? So that, that's, that's what it should be. But uh, we, 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 that is uh, the price we can manage the whole mm -hmm. thing. We have cost two collaboration with, with Kellogg School of Management. We mm -hmm. have to put uh, uh, euros on the table yeah? mm -hmm. uh, uh, for, for that. But it's important to work with them. Yeah. Uh, uh, spread out over one and a half years. And uh, the plan is like a learn and apply. Learn and apply. So you learn two, three things, and then you go back to your enterprise and apply. And then you come back and report how, how it worked. What worked, what, was, what didn't work, you know, where were problems, where was success or so, you know. So we want to make sure, uh, also regarding the cost, you know, and, and the time you spend. Yeah? I mean, if you add the time, it will be even more expensive. Yeah? Uh, because those people are in, in leadership positions. Yeah? But we want to make sure that there are two very practical things, at least, yeah, that they can implement and, and then it pays out. You know? Especially mm -hmm. in English. Uh, we, we, we have no problem with that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. okay. uh, um, in comparison with Mr. Chirac, yeah, who oh. had the meeting <laughs> yeah, that people spoke English. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So um, we, we like the English language. Uh, we all speak bad English, yeah? but uh, we will communicate. Huh? We will have later on, you know, when we've produced maybe our first two classes successfully, then automatically we can have uh, uh, programs for <coughs> countries focused, actually, for, for countries focused, for, for, <coughs> for companies focused. We have already the requests, for instance, from Denso to come in there for a double week with some of the stuff and uh, nail an important topic uh, with them and, 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 and work with the Denso people. And uh, there are other interests. So, but first of all, the heart is it's a, it's a global think tank and over the alumni we want to have a bit of a society and maybe something wonderful grows out of it yeah, with, with our thesis work and, and, and stuff. The future is designer, so, so it, it goes all over the place. Yeah? But the interest is there, organic growth through new ideas.
and uh, those that, that really cannot just cook them up, but really make them happen. Huh? Uh, we know how, how much of brilliant work probably uh, uh, is filled in drawers around the world yeah? and, you know, forgotten and never used or uh, tested and, and uh, thrown away. And that has to change. Yeah? Ideas are too precious, and, uh, but there always um, should be the intelligence how to get them to work and into the market and how to make them happen. And, excite other people to support them. <laughs> I mean, out of nature, it, it, we, we are advertising heavy, and now we have to work on uh, to balance it out with media and with entertainment. And we are already making inroads, don't want to drop other names here, but uh, it's possible that within the next three months or so, we have some drivers in those areas. So um, we want to balance it. We, we don't want to be just in one industry because uh, it is all interdependent these days. It all belongs together, commercial communication, whatever it is. And uh, we should not exclude any area that could inspire fresh thinking, you know. I mean, to have Andre Midani there, you know, when you talk with him the way he sees uh, uh, the communication world, is very interesting. Yeah, and what, what he has done, not just invented something, I mean, he made the difference for, for a company and engaged himself. Last year, he produced um, uh, the year in Brazil, uh, the, the year of Brazil in France. Those were over 160 events throughout France, curated with 14 people, covering all sorts of industries from Brazil. Uh, and, and they did, uh, had a spectacular appearance. So he is, you know, doing, seeing the world from a, from a different angle. Huh?